video is the ultimate communication tool, but if you've tried to film and make a video, or even thought about it, you'll have realised that it ain't that easy. Well, wrong. I'm going to show you how to easily make videos for social media, that's Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook ads, as well as your web pages. Oh, and did I mention, not just easily, but quickly too. And did I mention, no need to film anything. There's one million photos and videos thrown in and a thousand music tracks, all for free. No royalties. With this short video under your belt, you'll be off and running. So what are you waiting for? Better get in quick because the $98 lifetime deal is a limited time only. It's normally $19.95 per month. The link's in the description below. This one platform is packed with thousands of resources, including stunning templates, graphics and stickers, royalty-free music, backgrounds, stock images and footage, as well as dynamic effects. And you can start with an existing template or an empty canvas. Add your own personal flair by dragging and dropping those supplied images or your own images, graphics and text. And then animate anything with a single clip. Complete the video with a royalty-free soundtrack and a professional video is ready for you or your clients. Yes, this software is used by professional designers to produce world-class ads for their clients. I'm going to show you how to set up and use Offio in this tutorial. And then there's a follow-up tutorial that covers everything else you need to know in detail. And after viewing this tutorial, you'll have made your first video for social media. When you first open Offio, it'll ask you for some setup information so it can intelligently offer you personalised templates. This may appear to be unnecessary if you want to quickly make your first video, but be assured you'll really reap the benefits of those personalised presets. You're in fact telling Ofio a bit about your personal preferred styles so it can make intelligent decisions on what to produce for you. And some personal advice before you start the setup, don't feel overwhelmed. Everything you add is able to be reset later. I suggest you just go for it. You only need to do this once and you can make any changes later if you need. And the settings in order are the theme. This includes your preferred color palette and you'll see the colors change on the right. Also here, you can select the style you prefer that's modern, abstract or vibrant and see them change on the right too. Next, you can select your preferred fonts. The warning means you can change settings for each of your client's projects. That's if you're working for others, as well as for yourself. It doesn't change any projects already started. There's no need to do any more now, but if you want to adjust these settings later, we'll select My Brand. Select My Projects. Start a new project. You've now got three choices. Smart Create will use any image you give it and create templates to suit that image or logo. And this is best used for Instagram or Facebook. Branded templates give you some more choices for social media. Select YouTube. Select designer templates for longer videos and you can use the filter to select different styles. Selecting designer lets you switch at any time. For this exercise, I'm going to show you how I made the intro graphic that you saw in the beginning of this tutorial. I'll use the designer templates. Let's use this metal gear. Hover over it to see the preview. Click to edit. The template appears in the canvas and there are three main areas to view here. There's the canvas itself, there's the top panel to edit, and the left panel to add items, and layers shows the layers in the canvas. And there's also a timeline. 
But to keep this simple for your first video, I'll show you more about layers and the timeline in the next tutorial. I'll quickly cover the tabs on the left, and then I'll finish off the intro video that I've used for this tutorial. Designs takes you back to the templates. Text adds text, that's the heading size, subheading size, and a body text size. And I'll show you the animated text being added when I finish off the video for you. Graphics has three tabs showing the categories of graphics, overlays, and effects. Click the category, then hover over the individuals to see the animation. Stocks give you access to thousands of free to use photos and videos. And backgrounds? Well, this has also got three categories images, patterns, and videos. And again, music's got thousands of royalty free tracks. Plus, you can upload your own. Files, and these refer to the files that you've uploaded from your computer. And Saved has the elements that you've previously saved for future use. Animate allows you to animate individual and groups of elements, and I'll show you as I finish off my intro video now. First of all, let's play the template. I'll replace the background and select videos. I like this bold one here, so clicking it. I'm only going to use two of the text blocks, so I'll delete the top one, select it in the layers, and press the delete key. I'll add my web URL. And adjust it in the top panel. Now I'm going to type the title in the main text block. And I want to add my photo from the computer, and you've got to be blown away by this. Go to the files, click upload, and search your hard disk for the photo. And it's in my downloads folder. Drag the photo to the canvas. Now I'm going to remove that background of the Kirkenhof Gardens. So select Remove BG in the top panel. Well, now all I've got to do is position that. I want to add an extra text block. And we'll call that quick and easy. Now let's play it to see what we've got. It's pretty static. So I'm going to animate everything. Select animate and select zoom in. You'll see a preview. But I don't like how the background animates in with all the other objects. So select the open timeline, click the opener position in the background track, and make it none. That's much better. I'll show you more about the timeline and layers in the next tutorial. Close the timeline. Now let's add the music. Select the Music tab, type Computer in the search. Let's play Stylish Presentation. I like it. Tick the box and let's play again. But the music ends too abruptly, so let's fade out. It could be better than that. Open the Trim Editor. The first six seconds currently playing are in the rectangle. Let's move that to the end of the track to get the actual ending of the music. Now play. And there's our intro video. Now to export. Click download, click MP4 high quality. And while it's completing, I can go away as they'll send me an email when it's all completed. In the meantime, I want to show you how to convert that 16x9 YouTube ad into a square Facebook or Instagram ad. Press the Home. Click Resize and select the square and apply. The elements have been repositioned for you. They're not too bad, but I'll just resize the text a bit. Also, this could be used as a still image for a thumbnail rather than a video. Select Download, 
select image, click choose frame and position. As I said before, when the video is completed, then you'll get an email which will bring you to this screen. Complete the download to your computer, Dropbox or Google Drive. Well, I must say I am impressed with this software. I recently reviewed FlexClip, which is a similar offering to Offio. And to put both into perspective, FlexClip is simpler to learn, but Offio is certainly much more flexible. However, they'll both let you make quick and easy videos. Though as a video editor myself, I'd pick Offio, especially for all those extras that you get. FlexClip will be just good enough for simple videos with that simpler learning curve. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one tuition. Just click trainingfinalcutpro.com. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and press the bell.